the number one team in the land at 13 and one. They are in the all white. Johns Hopkins in the all Columbia blue. Arseri and Prouty get things going at the faceoff X. And it is Prouty who comes up with the game's first ground ball. Johns Hopkins settles in, pushes him away. Williams running by his defender, the short stick D man burns. Williams lets it go. He scores. He had five in the championship game last year. Top is a matchup problem. He gets cycled onto a short stick. Look at Tommy Wright. Good approach. Nice defense. But Cole Williams, what he's doing a much better job of is having his stick up ready to either feed or shoot. From Hubler. Ament undaunted, picks up Malone. Malone wraps around and scores. Cool, four goals in the semifinal win against Rutgers. Look at him run to space, and he doesn't receive the initial feed, but watch him keep moving. And that's great off-ball play by TJ Malone to get himself in a position to receive the ball from Ament. He squares up to his defender. He recognizes a short stick, and he dusts Matt Hubler coming around. A unanimous choice. He's picked up by short stick defender here, Danny Jones. O'Keefe rockets and scores. With the two-man game, Danny Jones is the one that steps out. How you don't account for number three in white is beyond me. You always have to know where Mac O'Keefe is. Because if you don't, and Grant Amon recognizes him, and he steps down like this from about 10 yards, it's hard for the Nittany Lions. After spotting Cole Williams and the Jays, the one nothing advantage, Arceri tries to pop this draw free away from Prouty. It's down on the deck. Right to the goal. And a slam dunk. Kevin Fox makes it three in a row for Penn State. You've got basically what equates to a rub rugby scrum. After Arceri comes out with it, Prouty kicks it into the defensive end. Look at this. Everyone is clustered around. And Kevin Fox just picks it up. He runs through with a big boy ground ball. Throws his stick up into the air. Thinks it's maybe women's lacrosse. They're going to check his stick. He doesn't score many goals. It's legal, Mr. Referee, and I got a marker in the Big Ten. Clock at eight for O'Keefe. A long way from the cooker. Shot clock at three. Going to the goal. He scores. And they will count it. Compliments to Mac O'Keefe. You have got to know that O'Keefe is a lefty. You have got to take away top side. But then you've got to squeeze. You know that he, Mac O'Keefe is allergic to his right hand. He's not coming right. He gets underneath, he walks the dog, and then look at the lawn. Against the defender, Bobby Burns. Loops it there. Quick drive. Oh, a wicked snap release from Kyle Marr. Hides. This is a prime example. Look at Keo. No reason really to go here if you're Nick Cardeal. No one's beat. And then look at that presence and communication. I guarantee you, Kyle Marr is being like right over your head. Gets it to him, and Marr, the sharpshooter, tattoos the upper 90 with a rocket. And that is a big goal for the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Baskin up top for Keo. Keo gets a step, fires, and scores. Jack Keo. This is a midfield unit that really isn't going to beat you off the dribble too much. But it's a nice pick. Baskin finds Keo, and look at the confidence. He just goes right past his defender, gets to the middle of the field, lets it rip, and then takes a shot in the chops. Flag fly. De Simone on the exchange. Epstein fires. He scores from long distance. This game is tied. Spot. Just a little wheel rotation by the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. There's the wheel. Epstein. Look at him pick a spot right there. Far post. He measures it up. It's almost like the bionic man. Ding, 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 ding. Far post, he just drills that back behind the goal by Kevin Fox. Wide open, Baskin lets it go. He scores. The Blue Jays are shooting up a storm. Basketball style type of offense, which means it doesn't matter where you go on the field. Attackmen are up in the midfield slots, as you can see, Kyle Marlon tops. Midfielders are in attack spots, and this is just. 
Baskin getting lost in the wash. And for Cat and Mouse on the far side of the field, but it's 5 5 across right now. Zinn pops out there. Great stop. Rebound. Williams. He scores. Paper. 5 on 5. In this era of the shot clock, goalies face a lot more shots. It's so important to make clean saves. Canise with a beauty going down to his keister to keep it out of the cage. But Johnny on the spot, Cole Williams, couple of pump fakes, puts it in the cage, name in the paper, date for the prom. Cole Williams stepping up here big in the first quarter. Hot, plays catch with Kelly. O'Keefe then falls to fire. He scores. Through the screen, the extra man converts. Lost art of a sidearm bouncer here by Dylan Folds. Nice inside outside action. Watch Folds just kind of shade down to a better shooting spot. And then he uses the ground to skip it past Ryan Darby. I like how he looked high. His eyes looked like they were high and he dropped it. Kelly gets to the middle, bounces and scores. Jack Kelly. Great momentum shifter, not to have to face off to start a quarter. And Jack Kelly follows the Dylan Folds goal with just owning the island area, that five by five area right in front of the crease. That's not bad defense, but a little rocker step throws Matt Hubler off. And then when he feels Hubler, watch Hubler's body weight go one way, and then Kelly goes the other. You gotta be able to. Williams, a pair of first quarter markers. Move it swiftly for Forey Smith. Back behind for Epstein. He sneaks and scores. Joey Epstein. Better in the game at low angle, coming around the corner. Goal line extended shots at number 32. This one he slips. Foles, who has the extra man goal tonight. Oh, a rifle shot from O'Keefe to the top corner. It's seven all. Most players. When you get the stick behind you to uncork a shot, it's up top when the stick is behind your ear. Look at O'Keefe. This stick is already behind his hip. As they settle in here with Forey Smith. Schilling working quickly. Backdoor feed. It's Kincannon with a layup. Great. By looking upfield. There you're going to see Joey Epstein looking upfield. Then he finds Kincannon. And if I'm Johns Hopkins, walk away after you score your goal number two. You haven't won anything yet. You've got nothing to chirp about. They'll exchange. TJ delivers to Amen with a defense on the snap pass. Blaine! Bullseye! Pick up numbers. Fantastic motion. Watch the pass behind the X. And there's Spillane. Just cutting down unmolested from up top. If you give Grant Aim at this type of time to pick your defense apart. Why you keep jumping behind me? <laughs> These young men can shoot the ball. Little give and go. Forey Smith. And he places that one to the top corner. Final on Thursday. And watch this goal right here. He's going to get a little give and go from Joey Epstein. He pots it. Upper corner. Forey Smith off ball has been terrific. A big reason why. Kincannon is always dangerous. Short side fire. Canise with a good save. Rebound for the freshman of the year, Epstein. Epstein lets this one go. He scores. Epstein, who has set the freshman point scoring record tonight, adds to his totals. 2-2 by Johns Hopkins, and it's just motion with basically the four guys in front of the goal will just switch positions. And then Epstein is going to come from behind, and he'll take the 2-2-2 two, 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 as it's now in a 2-3-1. And Epstein, the range that he's been showing the last couple of weeks. Look at... DeSimone rolls in, looking for a passing lane. Can Cannon turn and score? Forey Smith. Four and backbreakers for the defense that allow them. DeSimone, you talk about a player who's been quiet for most of the year and has quietly stepped up with some nice plays late in the season. It's good top 
bottom to top offense, a little slide, a little too over ambitious, and you got to account for the players in the middle of the field. Safe. Malone will drift back behind the cage, picked up by Hubler. Centering pass to Beauty. Ament with a stash. Grant Ament makes it a two goal game. Ball to come in the first offensive possession. Great job by TJ Malone to get the defense crossed up. Patrick Foley has to go. Grant Amon by two early in the third. Kelly takes it for a ride against Coulter. Kelly with a quick feed behind the back. O'Keefe dazzling to the corner. And out presented by Auto Owners Insurance. You knew this was coming if you were Johns Hopkins. You knew it was going to be aggressive, but you didn't know it was going to be this sweet if you're a Penn State fan. Jack Kelly. Grant Aim, excuse me, Mac O'Keefe, beautiful, behind the back, nestles it under the crossbar, spectacular goal. Fielder who wore 10 for a couple campaigns. This is a hard hit, and a flag down. Scoop shot, score! Dylan Foles out of the pack. Here we're going to see the two-man game for Penn State. Jack Kelly's going to get hogtied. Flag flies. And Hopkins just looks flat-footed right there. Five guys standing around looking at the ball. Nobody goes to pick up the big boy ground ball. It's on the carpet. You've got to have guys going out there trying to get the ball. But look at Jack Kelly. We saw T.J. Malone goose it to Grant Amon at the end of regulation last week in Happy Valley. Dino Key from the top. Penn State on the extra man, aim it, skip it, O'Keefe fires, he stings the corner, the Nittany Lions have the lead back. A one goal lead, a little bit of a 2-2-2, two, 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 then it morphs in to a 2-3-1, and then just that skip pass. Perhaps no duo better at finding one another from one side of the field to the other, selling out here tonight. O'Keefe. Behind the back on the flip, crunching hit there. Snap delivery score! Cole Willard! Watch air underneath of it, but watch Cole Willard. Skies for it, absorbs the hit, gets his feet, rips it underneath the crossbar. Toughness, accuracy, Big Ten championship on the line, and Cole Willard delivers. Days settle in six on five. Schilling feeds, jump shot here for. He turns and scores. Forey Smith. Left hand, but Forey Smith, look at him go right to that heart of the Penn State defense, and there's no rotation as they were shutting off behind the goal on Joey Epstein. So basically, it's five on four in front of the cage. And oftentimes, when you do build a two goal lead, but keep in mind, this is an offense on this in, in settled situation, shoots 40% of the team. There's some trickery. Right to the back of the cage from Kelly, showing off. It's 14-12. Penn State offense, the midfielders make a difference. Jack Kelly has really come on strong over the last four games. This is a player who missed the Ohio State game. He missed the Cleveland State contest. Straight away, DeSimone. Epstein scores. That's a sweet spot for the freshman. He's reminding me a little bit of Ryan Brown. He doesn't get it as far back as the former Blue Jay sharpshooter, but the confidence and the fundamental with which he releases the ball with. If you're Colby Canese, he cheats a little bit low. His arms were low, his elbow. Short stick defensive midfield stable for the Blue Jays. Malone turns the corner. T.J. Malone. Penn State has one just as good on the other end in critical situations. He just gets Ryan Coulter to overcommit. And once he takes him to one side of the cage and then comes back, he knows he has a step. He gets leverage and a knifing to the net here. Quick trigger. Evan Zinn with a bullet. Straining box. Five yards for the midfield line. Evan Zinn. Uses his speed. Look, he, he just gives a quick glance over his shoulder to see where the defender was. 
Robbie Black, he realizes he's got a little bit of space, and I talked about this on Thursday. Shot clock at 20. Jones on Amen. Amen lowers the shoulder, turns, fires it. Grant Amen would not be denied. Thompson from Albany and Steve Moreau from UNBC, but he cycles off onto a short stick, and Amen likes the matchup. He knows the shot clock is winding down a little bit. Look at the physical nature of both Danny Jones and Grant Amen. But if you're Jones, there's no reason to go over the head right there. No reason what way Mar one more for Pincannon. Great rotation and recovery by Penn State, Tommy Wright. Epstein sizzles and scores again. He made a pass down low to Kincannon. That was a great recovery by Tommy Wright. And the discipline to switch fields quickly. Around the screen from O'Keefe. Spillane fires. Darby made the save. Rebound for Donnelly straight away. Inside folds. He scores. Dylan folds. But he takes the shot. Beautiful save, Ryan Darby. Look at Donnelly. The composure. Flicks it inside, and Dylan folds behind the back, lower corner. The Canadian gets Penn State back up by a deuce. Find him inside. He knows seconds to 52 before it was restarted. Epstein says, "Follow me right to the cage." He scores. <laughs> Epstein's sixth of the game, showing no fear. Again, this was after the clock continued to run when the ball went out of bounds. The defensive Cardiel, that's the change in matchup. Cardiel had been guarding Williams, Sabia. Six goals, setting a Big Ten championship game record. Here we go. It's loose. Zinn comes out of there with it. Full sprint to the cage. Blue Jays need it. Fire and score! Epstein cannot be stopped. This game is tied. The Blue Jay faithful love it. It's in. Watch my swagger. Big boy ground ball. Get out of trouble. Sprint down the field and Epstein just steps in. I think he fooled Colby Canise with that shot. He's been going far post from that position. Most of this game, this time he basically... 87, the last of which, and Dave Petromala was playing those days for the Blue Jays. Glatz for the win of the draw. Going right to the cooker. Fought off. Penn State's. Oh. Roll dodge. Drawing two. Feed it up top. O'Keefe. Score! O'Keefe brings the curtain down on a classic. And Penn State has been having success with this all night. T.J. Malone changes direction. Watch the quick slide and no one to catch. He actually had two guys open on the backside, Kelly and O'Keefe. Malone gets it to O'Keefe, and he drills it home. All hail Penn State. 14-1 and, and Big Ten tournament champs.